Ladies, gentlemen of the Yuki Tubing community, and of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community in general, this drama just took a turn for the worst. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, as your host, with the most, we are at Keem Star Yu-Gi-Oh! Nation Drama Alert Central Headquarters, and I know that that's cringy, but by God, oh, the popcorn and the butter is rolling right now, ladies and gentlemen, House of Champ stocks my channel, rats me out, then ask me to chat, and Zodiac Duelist VCTRFS's response, and here was his video response. In a nutshell, in 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, VCTRFS is out for blood, he is out to get back at Jonathan Moore, a.k.a. House of Champs. What am I talking about? House of Champs was the Rat Pierre. That is right. Jonathan Moore, as confirmed by VCTRFS, was the one that snitched him out for selling OTS packs to his Patreon, shipping them out, whatever the case was. But yet at the same time, he shows in his video how uh, people are selling them on eBay. But yet... Apparently, Jonathan Moore doesn't have a problem with that. Even Abyssal YGO has made a video saying House of Champs is a perfect example of what is wrong with Yugi Tubing. Now, personally, I don't know Jonathan all that well. He's commented on only one of my videos, and that's when I talked about, uh, you know, Upper Deck being better than Konami ever was. And he seemed like an alright guy, but after watching VCTRFS's channel and showing the long-ass post in this video talking about how all Jonathan Moore cares about is money and how he's going to be getting back at him, I'm really on the fence of this, you guys. Just to kind of read you a little snippet here, uh, Jonathan Moore says, Do I think you had good intentions? Actually, 1,000% yes. You were selling at cost and even to a point shipped at a loss. I think you were thinking of who you'd be helping and not who you'd be hurting. I don't think you'd scale them either. I think you wanted people saying, hey, look what I got from VCTRFS. I think you intended doing good things without thinking about who you'd affect, but it gets even spicier. Ladies and gentlemen, do I see you as a threat? No, but VCTRFS says, yes, you do see me as a threat, Jonathan Moore. He goes on to say, I actually see that you potentially make me money, and this is where VCTRFS said, this is all you care about is money, Jonathan Moore, which begs the question, does Jonathan Moore even care about Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, or does he just care about making that cash money, that De Niro, that sweet, sweet green money? We're going to continue reading here. You potentially make me money in the future, as you have both a different and shared audience from mine on YouTube, and will be bringing different people in to watch YouTube on your own, and with shared similar sidebar search words, you will directly make me money. Again, goes back to, does Jonathan Moore care about only the money? Is he a sellout, ladies and gentlemen? All of these questions and more, I want to know in the comments down below. I wanted to keep you guys updated with what was going on with VCTRFS because I said in my last drama video that we needed to help support him and do everything that we could to make sure that he was alright. And he's doing perfectly fine, but he has come out and said that his subscribers were correct. House of Champs is the Rat Pierre of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. And it's quite a shame because now we've got uh, we've got some heat We've got some heat, ladies and gentlemen, and it is straight fire. VCTRFS is out for blood. He's going to do whatever he can to get House of Champs shut down. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, keep your popcorn close by because uh, this is going to get cray-cray. It is straight up going to get crazy, and that's probably the cringiest thing I could have possibly said. But I want to keep you guys up to date because, again, you know, I, I don't know Jonathan Moore all that well. I really don't know, you know, if these really were his intentions or not, but... Coming from the horse's mouth, it really seems like it. And on top of that, too, you know, when people when he says in his video that you know Jonathan Moore and his boys are all talking crap about him behind his back, you know, we saw that with uh, Simo and uh, or not not Simo, I'm sorry, uh, Capital G and uh, whatever his face was. I I can't even remember the name for the life of me because it's so late at night right now. But it makes sense, y'all. You know, if uh, if you got a group of Yu-Gi-Oh players who think that they're all that and will talk crap behind other people's backs, you know, for for all I know, I could have YouTubers talking about me behind my back, which I'm not gonna care because I do this for fun. I could care less what anybody thinks of me. But uh, yeah, we've got some infighting here in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, and uh, I say VCTRFS. And House of Champs, if you want to settle this, I say you settle it in a duel. I say that you throw down some OTS packs as the bet, and the winner will get those OTS packs, and will also have to leave the other person alone forever, and then also subscribe to my channel, hashtag shameless plugin. 
<laughs> oh my god. Alright, <laughs> I'm, I'm done here. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to leave a like on this video. <laughs> Let's shoot for three likes. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Drama Alert Nation now and still at 691 subscribers. <laughs> It's so cringy. Oh my god. So much drama, y'all. Like, quit being kids. Grow up.